Hello everybody, Don Gianetti, lighting-essentials.com and project52prosystem.com. I'm doing my little teaching how to light thing here. I got a lot of lighting experience um, and I need to get this up on YouTube so that people can learn, I think, uh, a way of, of thinking about lighting that can lead to more uh, interesting and exciting things. We're going to talk about a classic beauty headshot. And what I think of as a classic beauty headshot uh, is a single light headshot coming from the direction of camera. Um, we're not talking about side lights. We're not talking about special lights. We're not talking about any kind of uh, grid spots or anything. We're talking about a big umbrella or a big softbox. Or in the case that I'm using, I'm using a 32 inch beauty dish with a sock over it. Now with the sock over it, it makes the beauty dish a round soft box. A beauty dish has a look about it. The, the result on the face is, is as much the beauty dish as the instrument itself. So when you put a sock over the beauty dish, you just simply turn it into a round soft box. And that's what I'm using for this. It's a simple, simple light. Uh, I'm using one Profoto 300 in a softbox with a sock on it and the uh, first shot that we're going to start with we're just going to start with a very basic approach and that is one light right here one light on our subject this is mickey mickey sitting out on the this is the table we have in the studio we use it for a headshot table and all kinds of things but it's dark metal the resulting image is a flat plane of light across the face which is fine as classic beauty um, it's the by the way the camera is just to the right of it the the, the uh, since it's not a beauty dish I only use beauty dishes by the way as beauty dishes only on access a camera once I move them off the access camera really it's not a beauty dish anymore it's just a great big round light so if I want the beauty dish effect it's coming from camera but on this soft box it's just slightly to the left of the axis of the camera um, and so what we're doing is you can see the the black here and you can see the black is up under here now why is that well some people say well the light isn't is, is it's, it's not bouncing up now that's not really true what's happening is Mickey's semi shiny face semi efficient face is reflecting that black and the fact that she's wearing a little black dress may influence that as well but there is a reflection here and under here and under the eyes you can see the eyes a little bit dark right there and right in here that's a reflection of this black object everything reflects you must remember that everything reflects in our second shot we've added a white diffuse base over the black uh, table and all this is is a white piece of foam core foam core is not glossy it's diffused so the light is hitting this the whole panel lights up and the face reflects the panel do you see that up under the nose up under the eyes so much brighter in here so much brighter in here right down here even up under the the chin area the white pulls it up because we're not bouncing light off the card and onto her face that's not what's happening what's happening is that the card is being lit up and the bottom parts of her face angle of incidence angle of reflection is being lit up by the white card just always remember everything reflects and you'll just be so far ahead of the game now to continue on with the the simple beauty light we're going to add a hair light and in this case i'm using a strip light and the reason i'm using a strip light is i want a very soft light above her on her hair here above her face and i want a very soft light on the shoulders here i don't use specials for hair light i've never done a uh, i don't use like grid spots or uh, funnel lights or or any kind of uh, tight focusing spot on the hair because it looks weird to me when the hair's lit up and the shoulders aren't that doesn't make sense in my world 
I'm trying to create light that I see around me. This is beauty light. It's not natural light, but it could be. And that's that's the goal, I think, that when I'm working with light. So I use a, a large strip light. It does fill in the shoulders very nicely, the top of the hair. Again, you'll notice that the strip light is behind her, turning, turned forward a little bit, but behind her because I need angle of incidence, angle of reflection, I need to get that hair light back up there a little bit so that this angle here reflects up. And also, uh, you can't have this so far forward that it lights up the bridge of the nose. Be real careful with that. If you're using hair lights and you get them up close or using a big umbrella and that umbrella comes forward of the head just a little bit, you're going to light up the bridge of the nose. Again, angle of incidence, angle of reflection right back into the into the camera and you can see that nice adds a nice little feel right along in here and right in the top part of the shoulder here we're still using the diffuse card uh, it's looking pretty good notice the shadow down the side of the face she turned this way and what happened do you see it the shadow on the side of her face this shadow isn't really as much a shadow as it's the reflection of the black hair along the nose because the light is coming this way you can see it right there her face is semi shiny skin is semi shiny it, it has a, a, a sheen to it and as she turns her face she starts reflecting this black hair if she were a blonde the shadow might be there a little bit from the lighting but it wouldn't be this dark okay so we get over here and I decided what we're going to use down on the table now is not a white reflector card. We're going to use the shiny silver side of a uh, five-in-one reflector. And we're using the shiny silver side because it really pops up into the face really, really nicely. And we don't want to use the gold side because the gold side makes everything kind of yellowy gold. And I didn't want that for this shot. So what you do is to find out if this is going to work, is you stand right back next to your model or even better sit where your model is make sure your head is the same height and look at this card you should see a great big bright shiny reflection of this light in that card if you do not the cards not doing a damn thing it's silver if it doesn't get a specular highlight it doesn't get anything it just is negated so you've got to make sure that this light is reflecting here, angle of incidence, angle of reflection. So you're gonna get your head right back in there to make sure it's happening. What the poppy one does, look, it's a little bit poppier under the nose, a little bit poppier here on the lips. Uh, it's just kind of a, a shinier surface, does a nice job in the eyes as well, and I like the, uh, I like the shine to it. The last thing we do for Classic Beauty is bring in our side fill cards. These cards will do a lot to your uh, photograph. They're going to start bringing this up. Let's go back one. And you notice how the, the skin falls off here. Okay. Skin falls off here. Move over here. Let's pull the white cards in. Notice the white cards are in front of her and they're tilted or, or um, angled towards the light. If they go straight, then the light's not lighting them up. And remember, what we're doing is lighting up the cards so that the face has something bright to reflect. Okay? We're not bouncing light. We're providing the face something bright to reflect. And you can see right in here how it does it really, really nicely. Really cleans up this face. I've got these cards in fairly even on this shot. Uh, and I think that's fine. Uh, for this, uh, I think there are there's some faces this is going to work really great on or some faces it won't. You might want to model the face. You might want to leave one of the cards out even. It's okay. It's up to you. There's no right way to do this. All of this stuff is flexible. You could use an umbrella here. You could use a shoot-through umbrella, even though I don't like shoot-through umbrellas for, for headshots at all. Uh, you could use a beauty dish in the back. You could use a bounce umbrella up front. One of my favorite lights is a 60 inch bounce umbrella or a 60 inch bounce umbrella with diffusion, which basically is a great big round softbox. I like round 
catch lights, okay? So the catch light you can see right here, we got a nice little round catch light. You can see one of the cards coming down there and you can see the shiny card down below. Uh, very, very fine. This is uh, uh, done in fashion all the time. So those of you, uh, you know, thinking that these these eyes have to have like just one or whatever catch shot, nah, pick up a copy of Vogue or Harper's Bazaar or something like that. You'll see it's it's uh, part of the fashion tradition. And my thing is, if it's good enough for fashion, it's certainly good enough for me. Uh, and that's how I work with it. So we have uh, now moved this right this right card back a little bit. And we're starting to soften the fill. Do you see that? Get a little bit more modeling here. And you can take it back even farther if you want. This is how you control your fill on both sides. Now, some of you might say, well, I can fix that in Photoshop. And I would say, yeah, okay, so what? Um, you know, I, I, like, I like photography better than Photoshop. So if you all want to just do this in Photoshop, knock yourself out. I'm sure you can. Uh, you know, whatever. Final shot where I liked it. We got the shiny board here. We got this the card to the left side pretty in close. And to the right side, I've pulled it away. So we get some nice modeling right across the face there. So that's that's the mechanics of doing this. Now let's look at some results. Uh, I thought I'd throw this shot in for fun. I did this shot approximately 37 years ago, 37, 38 years ago. Uh, and you can see the umbrella in the eye. You can see the cards right here, right in here. Um, this lovely young lady is now a grandmother of uh, two or three, I believe. And... Um, just a, a bit. It's a light I've been using for many, many years. I learned it in uh, I learned it in New York, and when I was shooting fashion and glamour, and basically, I stuck with it. So, uh, 37 years ago to a couple of years ago, same thing. We got this nice little highlight in the eyes. Now, in this particular car, car, uh, shot, I've got white cards to the left, in front, and to the right. They're white cards, not shiny cards. And of course, I've got this backlight over here, a little special backlight blasting through the flowers here. So the, the, the beauty light is still the same. We just changed up that backlight just a little bit. Here we can see, you can actually see how close the cards were in. You see them like in the eyes there. And notice how it opens up her face, opens up her hand. Look at the highlights on the jacket here. It's just really, really pretty. Uh, again, a strip light for the hair light and a 60 inch umbrella with a uh, diffuser on it up front and surrounded white white cards very close in. White floor, white card to the left side, big white card over here, small white card to this side, soft box to the back, big soft box to the front. Uh, surrounded with light, we had all this gold. I wanted to keep all that gold alive. If you don't surround that gold with white, it's just going to go black because it's super, super shiny. And it will reflect the dark studio. You've got to lighten. You've got to give that stuff something to reflect. So she's basically sitting in, in a little walled off uh, house of giant uh, 4x8 cards. And I'm shooting through a small opening. And it really really does a nice job on the skin and the hair and everything the hair light back there and her the front light the hair light is actually a half stop lower or wait a minute i'm sorry it's full stop lower than the front light but because it's going to come over this shoulder i have to lower it otherwise the shoulder will be too poppy here i didn't want that feeling of a poppy back and a, and a round shoulder with a big highlight on it i just didn't want that at all I wanted to keep it much, much more um, um, controlled and smooth. In this shot, I've got the uh, beauty dish with a sock on it. Uh, you can see a little bit white card right down in front of her. I have no cards on the side. I really love the shape of her face and the hair. And let I let the sides fall off. You can see the shoulders are falling off. We're not getting any 
any uh, side uh, light at all. I, I could have put black cards there. I didn't need to. The studio I was in uh, for this shot was huge. So there was just nothing on either side of her out in that space. And we mo removed the white cards and put it up there. It's a beauty dish with a sock on it. But we're, we are getting a little bit of the beauty dish look. You, you see this shadow comes right under the chin here. A beauty dish will throw a shadow onto the nose, right up, to, up, up under here and under the lip and down here with this sort of sharp thing. But it's the light is directly over camera. Uh, there's a light on the background, which is probably 15 or 20 feet away. Just very, very close to the background with a little bit of a diffusion on it. And it's just giving me a little spray. Uh, because it is so close to the background. So that was a, a, a easy shot to do, one light, but I think it transfers so well into that shot with the skin and the, the symmetrical face. This last shot right here, uh, same thing. All the light is the same. We got white cards on both sides. In this particular case, I'm using a medium-sized softbox. So I get the square catch light in the eyes. Uh, not something I, I wanted, but something the client was uh, wanted. And you can see uh, that we also have, I don't know if you can see it in the eye on the video here, but we also have a white card down in front of her. And you can see as the front of the dress comes down this way, it lights up. All of this lights up. That's because this is be reflecting that white card down below. Big white card to the left, big white card to the right here. Try to keep the face open because of this hoodie and her dark hair. I didn't want the side of her face to go too dark. So again, it's totally up to you what you do with this light. It's uh, uh, an easy light to work with. It's an easy malleable light, as I like to say. Uh, and I hope that you uh, you give it a shot. All you need is a couple of boards, a couple of white boards, uh, shiny uh, five in one reflector, silver side, or a whiteboard if you like the diffuse look better. And um, just knock yourself out. One light beauty shot, I hope you enjoyed it. If you like the video and you like the stuff I've been doing, please, please go over and click that little subscribe button. It really helps me out. Uh, I'm not doing this with ads or anything else. I'm giving it away and I've got tons more to give away, but I just would love to know if you like the, the content. So hit the, the subscription button if you wouldn't mind. And I love doing it. I'll see you guys next time.